As Marin as someone born and raised in Windsor, I've met many incredible people, residents of all ages who've made a lasting impact on both the community and the lives of those around them. I was particularly inspired when I heard about Carrie Thomas, a woman who has been empowering others through her fitness classes for over 36 years. Carrie uses exercise to instill a sense of confidence and belonging to those who attend her class, and at almost 78 years old, has no plans of stopping anytime soon. My name is Carrie Thomas. I'm nearly 78 and I teach fitness. Have been teaching it for 36 years. This is like uh, the first one of the first things I did. Then here I am teaching pottery. This is all at Oakwood. Then I helped the uh, what they call fun club in the summer. My first one to fit introduction to fitness, actually that's me right there, was Judy Orderer. She worked for Oakwood for many, many years, and so that's me in her class, and that was the first, that's in 1982, and that was my first fitness or exercise thing I'd ever done. I taught a, this is my first teaching class, which was beginner, Monday and Beginners, and I did four a day, two in the morning, two at night. And here is the co-ed class. This is my pride and joy. I found there was two men women walking into the Oakwood with small children and looking very sad because they had so much to do and whatever. So I went around knocking on doors, hairdressers, photographers, jewelry people, will you come and offer free things for my Women's Day? And they came. It was very worthwhile, but it was, it's just worthwhile to see people I didn't know about that, or I didn't know about this. That's a good idea. That was what I wanted to see. Not just think that just because you got two little kids, all you are is a mom. You know, you could do other things as well. And then of course, now we've got my kickers. That's when the kickers started. We started the Carrie's kick because somebody, um, we were all wearing t-shirts, regular t-shirts, and, and, and some, one of them said, we should have a team shirt. So that's how the Carrie's Kickers show started. They deserve to be recognized. They come, right? I mean, I know a lot of them, they're hurting and they don't want to come, but they know it's good for them because one of the shirts that I wear is use it or lose it. You know, your muscles, your joints, if you don't use them, you lose them. I've got two titanium knees and I know if I don't keep going, they're going to stiffen up. So, you know, you got to keep doing it. There's one lady in the class and she said, you really helped me, I was very down and I needed something and you helped me, the exercise made me get all over my problems and get going again. And when I hear stuff, and I can't kind of hear that stuff quite often, and yeah, it makes you feel so good that you've taken somebody out of a slump, given them a heads up and uh, you know, a direction to go in. And that's why I like doing it. We keep it lighthearted. I don't keep it to just working out. I keep it lighthearted. Otherwise, they're not going to come back. They'll be miserable. And they say, oh, it's just hard work. I don't want to come back. But if people joke around, the new people suddenly feel they belong into a group of women. And so they want to come back. And we all go for coffee after. <laughs> Carrie truly is a community champion, not only for her commitment to physical health and well being but for the lessons she teaches and the sense of community she creates. It's clear that the women in her classes are more than just members of a gym, they're friends and their family. For years, Carrie has helped people realize that exercise isn't only about looking good, but it's also about emotional health and of course, bringing people together to share joy and a sense of community. It's a simple lesson like this that creates powerful change in the lives of our residents and as a result in Windsor as a whole.